Everybody has an innate desire to create. What's finally possible with technology and AI is to help people express themselves visually and creatively without a lot of expertise in craftsmanship around art. My name is Mohammed Norouzi. I'm the co-founder CEO at Ideogram. Before this, I was at Google on the brain team doing AI research and with a bunch of my former colleagues, we started Ideogram. Ideogram is a visual communication platform that uses generative AI to help everyone become creative. Text creation can be very useful, but for me personally, like image is somewhat unique. You can communicate visually at a deeper level and there's a lot of potential in image and video. When you think of using image for communication, then you can communicate much more effectively if you have image and text together, and if you can do really unique custom fonts. Uh, and when you think of a lot of marketing, advertising applications, visual storytelling, somehow including text in the image helps you tell a stories better, think of all the memes. And so that's where we started and pushed really hard to perfect the text rendering as part of the image, but do it in a aesthetically pleasing and unique way. So basically it was the version 0.1, as we called it. And this is back then in September of 2023. It wasn't perfect, but we felt like it's already good enough to give it to users. And it was the first model that could put legible text into images. So kind of went viral because of the unique capability of the model. Now looking back, those images look really bad, but we had to start from somewhere. And what's interesting is our users used Ideogram to tell us what they want. So they were like, we want image upload, we want comment, we want more servers. And somehow the ability to put text into images and have image and text as part of a visual element felt needed and people just got it right away. I mean, it's, it's always interesting how much people can push the model in different directions and bring unique capabilities out of the model. You see a lot of creative use of Ideogram these days. Again, the combination of text and image opens new doors. In terms of the use cases, for example, a friend of mine has a small business for packaging of his products. He's starting to think about using Ideogram and he's already using it in, in terms of being able to build the prototype and communicate with designers much more effectively this way. You see a lot of memes coming up, not surprisingly. And what's interesting is on the platform, users can like the content that they appreciate and that kind of pops up and more people see it. So we are having a lot of fun. When it comes to text, there's also something we call prompt adherence, which is I want a certain character eating pasta with a certain color of background with another character sitting by their side. The problem with a lot of AI tools right now is the moment you start adding more and more characters and extending the description, at some point they break. And what's unique about Ideogram is you can really have very detailed prompts and it tries to follow all of the nuances of the description. So that's one element of text to image and text consistency that we call prompt adherence. And another element is when you want to have text as part of the image, the, the accuracy of text and the quality of text uh, is difficult to get, but, but we've been uh, able to push that to its limits and it's the best model in terms of being able to put multiple words into the image and really put it in a aesthetically pleasing way. Because it's not only about the accuracy of the text, but it's also about the aesthetics of it. And we are trying to really push the limits of font uh, to make it really custom and unique for lots of design applications. And we are the platform of choice for print on demand. We kind of use our user base and the prompts that they enter into the system to decide how to evaluate the quality of the model and what to prioritize. So. I guess the good news is we already have this 
Flywheel of users coming and using it. Some are paid, some are free. And that sets the vision for us. As humans, we have this inner creative child. What I find interesting is that the education system sometimes kills this creative child, unfortunately. And uh, what's finally possible with technology and AI is to help people express themselves visually and creatively without a lot of expertise in arts and without knowing the hand, hand craftsmanship around art. So it was just, the timing is right. We can finally combine art and technology and let's do it.